One of the new features of OnSong 2024 is OnSong Cloud. Now we bring a brand new suite of services to OnSong that has many different integrations inside of the app. Let's take a look at two of those integrations now. One of the things that you might have always wanted with OnSong is the ability for OnSong to automatically back up to the cloud. And now, as soon as you install OnSong, by default, your library is automatically uploaded to the cloud every time you leave the app. Let's take a look. In order to configure your backup, tap on the gear icon and then backup. Here you can see our export location is OnSong Backup. This is now the default. I can also change what's included in the backup file. OnSong automatically includes everything except multitracks since they can be megabytes in size. But we can tap on that and choose to include our audio backing tracks, MIDI, multitracks, images, and video. If we remove some of the things from this list, it'll make our backup smaller and more manageable. We can also choose to automatically back up the library choose whether we require a Wi-Fi connection or if it's okay to back up over cellular. And our default is to back up while we close OnSong. So every time you leave the OnSong app, your library is safely uploaded to OnSong Backup. Now we could also change this to another location. If I tap on OnSong Backup, we can choose Dropbox, Google Drive, file sharing, which is not a great idea because it puts it directly on your device. And if you lose your device or your device gets broken, then you can't restore the backup and some other different ways that you could save your backup as well. Once we're all done, we can hit backup if we wanted to override the automatic backup when you leave the app. As you can see, the progress is shown down below and we're all done. Now let's say our library disappears. In order to do that, I'm going to open up my songs menu, come over here to manage libraries and create a new library. This will mimic me losing my library and completely installing OnSong from scratch. As you can see, as soon as I bring up OnSong, the choose backup screen appears showing me all of the backups that I have on my OnSong account. Here I have my blank library, my church library, default, etc. And I can choose what library I want to restore. Let's pick this one. There. Now the library has been restored and I'm back up and running. All of OnSong Cloud features required an OnSong account and you get a certain amount of data for each account. Now let's take a look at another feature, OnSong Drive. OnSong Drive lets you use your OnSong Cloud data as a simple drive storage. So anywhere that you can import or export files in OnSong, you can now do that to your OnSong Drive. Let's say I want to export this song to my OnSong Drive. I'm gonna tap on the share icon, which now shows the new share menu. The new share menu is organized so I can share with people who are nearby me or who have OnSong accounts. I can also share to different locations like Dropbox, Google Drive, etc. Or I can share to different services like email or printing. So let me choose OnSong Drive from locations. This is the new export screen which shows me that I'm exporting to OnSong Drive. It also shows me that I'm exporting to the root folder of my OnSong Drive. If I want to change that, I can tap on OnSong Drive and now see different places that I can store my files. OnSong Drive is unique in that I can save my files to my personal files folder. These are files that only I can access. But if I belong to groups using OnSong's group subscription, I can also see different groups that I'm a part of and have a shared folder that anybody who is a member of that group can access. Let me go into personal files. Here I can make a folder. I'm just gonna call that files. Very creative. And then I can tap on files and choose that as my export location. 
I can then see that personal files, files is the folder that appears under choose export location. Now I need to pick my file formats. This is very similar to the original export screen that you might be familiar with in previous versions of Onsong. Here I can export to Adobe PDF, Onsong Archive, which is a custom file format that works great for bringing in your key changes, your settings, your styles, everything with Onsong in an editable format. Onsong text, which is just your text-based content as if you were editing it in the Onsong editor. Chord Pro and text files as well. I'm just gonna pick PDF and archive. And you can see that my output options change as well. If I tap on that, I can change how this export is going to work. I can change the file name. If I don't change the file name, it's just gonna use the name of my song. I can also change how the files are exported. For instance, do I want to put them into a zip file? or just individual files. I can bring all those files together into a single file. So if I was exporting a set, uh, I wouldn't have individual files for each of my songs. I would have one file for my complete set. I can turn my annotations and chords on and off. I can expand flow and also choose whether the key and capo are turned on and off. And when I'm all done, Onsong's gonna remember all of these settings for next time, by the way, so you don't have to go through this every single time. It'll even remember where you chose to export for each one of these locations, which is pretty cool. Um, one more thing I wanna show you is that I can turn on show all available file formats. So if you're interested in some of the original file formats that are less used in Onsong, you can turn those on. We just remove those by default uh, just to make it a little bit simpler for uh, new users. And then I can hit export. There, I've just exported my song in two different formats to Onsong Drive. Now that we've exported our files to Onsong Drive, let's take a look at how we would import them. I'm gonna tap on songs and then tap on the button in the lower right corner that looks like a download icon. Now the new add song screen appears and I can see that I can add songs by creating them from scratch, bringing them in from other apps or scanning with my camera using our document scanner. I can then tap down below and look at our different locations that we can import from. Dropbox, file sharing, files, all these ones that you're used to, including Onsong Drive now. And I can also import from various content providers like Planning Center, Praise Charts, Song Select, etc. Let's go back up to our locations and pick Onsong Drive. Now, my various files, including every group that I'm a member of, appear here on Onsong Drive. I'm gonna tap on Personal Files, find my files folder, and then I can import my PDF or my Onsong archive. I hope that shows you some of the great new features of Onsong Cloud available in Onsong 2024. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.